Are you tired of being reactive? Are you tired of being manipulated and are you tired of people being able to control your emotions like you're a puppet? Through life, we are going to face all types of emotions. We are going to be sad, we are going to be angry, and it's all because of what's happening around us. So there's a magical skill set that we need to understand and learn in order to truly control our emotions, which directly translate into our vibrational state, which actually puts out the frequency that we are attracting, right? We are magnets, us as people, we are a vibration. We are atoms vibrating at a certain frequency. And because of that, just like when you turn on a radio to a certain frequency, we are going to attract what we put out. So it's imperative that we know how to control our vibration and our emotional state. And remember, we attract what we feel, not necessarily what we think, but we attract what we feel. That's why in terms of manifestation, we must focus on what we are looking for, imagine it, and then imagine that feeling of what it's like to have it. So when we go through life and someone does something, naturally we want to react, we want to get angry, we want to be responsive. But the true winner is the person that stays quiet. That is the game of chess. So when someone does something to really piss you off or make you mad or make you want to just start crying, close your eyes, take a deep breath, smile, and just think. Have mindfulness. The game is to not react. Remember, you cannot control what happens to you, but you can control how you react. So it's so important for you to figure out what is the best way to react? How do I not regret making a certain move right now? Again, imagine like chess. And when you can just stay in flow state, you take a breath and you smile and you kill them with kindness, right? They just did something terrible to you. And the real winner that comes out when someone does something bad to you is to not drop to their level. Don't drop to their vibration. Stay in a higher state of mind. And then naturally, you will just go through the world in such an easier pace. So all those people that are throwing these rocks that you're trying to throw off your rhythm of flow of your vibration, and you are not even hindered by that at all, you are going to go upstream so fast in terms of your desires, goals, and you are honestly going to be a happier person overall. When people can't affect you and bring you down, and you can control your vibration like that, of course you're going to be a happier person. When you don't let one bad thing affect the entire rest of your day, naturally you can do a lot more with the day, you're gonna be a lot more productive, and you're going to see the good in the day, right? Imagine every single day of your life like a whole entire new life, right? So you have your entire lifespan from when you're a baby to your deathbed, right? But what if you looked at every single day like a new opportunity in a whole entire new life? So Tuesday, June 24th, 2024, right, is a completely new life than May 13th, uh, 2016, right? And when you think like that and you wake up being grateful and appreciative, you already meditated, you already are in control, and then when that negative thing happens, you already knew it was coming, right? So you're able to stop and remember, I'm not falling for this, and smile, and remember, silence is typically the best answer. So if you have, you're so angry, so, so upset, and you can't think of anything good to say or any way to get out of the situation, just walk away and then come back to it when you're in a much calmer state and you'll have a much better answer and reply. Because again, responding right there in a reactive state, you're not even going to give the response that you typically would have gave. So it's always better to stop, pause, close your eyes, take a deep breath, get back in control of your vibration, your emotion, and then make a very calculated decision. So it's all about being mindful of who you're talking to, what really should be said, and is this really worth ruining the rest of your day over? Because I guarantee if you let it out right there and then, it's going to affect not only the rest of the day, your sleep, the next day, the rest of the week, and potentially the rest of the month. So you have to be in control of your emotions. And the best way to do that is just to be mindful 24 seven and to start off the day knowing something's gonna come up. There's gonna be a rock thrown at you and you just simply catch that rock, drop it back down. You don't throw it back, you drop it back down, smile, walk off. And that is the video today. If you found value in this, make sure to leave a like. It helps me and of course allows me to keep making great content like this. And subscribe if you wanna see more content like this because you're just one video away from your life completely changing from spiritually to your relationships, to your business and so forth. But again, I'm rooting for you and Trey Colley out.